Hi everyone, my name is Holly and I'm the Child and Youth Development Programmer with the Petawawa Military Family Resource Centre. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing an activity from our Art Attack program. We're going to be making salt snowflakes. So salt snowflakes is a process art technique that combines a few simple ingredients and will actually allow you to watch color jump across your snowflakes. So let's discuss the material you'll need to create this project. You're going to need table salt. So this is just regular table salt that we usually put in our salt shakers. Uh, you need water and paint brushes, or just one paint brush will do. Watercolor palette. So this was just purchased from Dollarama. Um, you can also use a little bit of water and food coloring and that will have the same effect cardstock paper, paper towel just in case, and then just white school glue. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, now that we're all set to go, let's get started. You are also going to need a bowl and this is just to pour the excess salt off into. So, using your glue, we're gonna draw snowflakes, as many as you like, on your paper. So I'm drawing snowflakes, but really guys, you can draw any um, object, object you like. You could write your name, um, write flowers, maybe you're dreaming of summertime, you could draw sunshine. But I thought today, since it snowed this weekend, that snowflakes would be the perfect thing to draw. The snow inspired me, we'll say, for this project. Then I'm gonna do one more down here. And then I'm gonna draw, or use my glue to just do dabs of little circles all over my page just to add to my picture, like so. Now you are going to take your salt, so your table salt, and you're just gonna simply pour it over any spots that have glue on your page. So if there's glue there, you want to cover it in salt. And this part can get a little bit messy, but good thing is salt is very easy to clean up. There. Okay, then when you're confident that you got all your glue uh, snowflakes covered, you're just gonna pick up your page. You don't wanna bend your page too much because you don't want your glue to stick to other areas on your page. And you're just gonna pick up your page, bend it slightly, if I can get it around here, and just so it funnels into your bowl or the plate you're using to hold your additional salt. It does not stick to the glue. Or yeah, it's not sticking to the glue. As you can see, I'm making quite a mess. I always like to go by the saying, the messier, the better. Okay, so now that you have your excess salt poured off your page, you are gonna take a um, paintbrush that is in water, because we're using watercolor paint, so we need water to make the paint actually show. You don't wanna to put too, too much water, so just make sure you give it a good shake because if you put too much water, then it will take off some of the salt. Then, I'll bring this over here. Using your paintbrush and your water, just put it inside of the paint, rub it around, and when you get your desired amount, you're just gonna to touch gently your snowflake. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the water, your paint will actually bounce across, jump across your snowflake. It's a very pretty, soothing technique. This is an, also a really good project to uh, just explore color mixing. So once you see that the color is no longer running across the snowflake, you just want, that's a good time to know that you want to add more paint to your brush. So you just can continue this process. I'm going to do one of the circles up here. It's just a quick gentle dab. You don't want to press too hard because that will move your salt and then it'll expose the salt underneath that is not covered with... It'll expose the glue that's underneath that's not covered with salt. 
So now I'm going to do a different color. This is like a darker blue. And again, just dab, dab, dab. And go on the wild side and put some green in there. So, I'm just going to continue to do this till your whole, all your snowflakes are colored with water paint. Once your salt is all fully covered, then you have completed your art project. You can leave it dry and then you can proudly display it up on a windowsill or up on your wall. I hope you enjoyed salt snowflake painting and we'll see you next time. Bye.